GTA games uh, have always utilized vehicle radio as the primary source of music. And in GTA 5, we did add an original soundtrack, uh, interactive score, for the first time. So we had to consider the interaction between the radio and the score, and how could we transition between the two in a musically pleasing way. Ideally, our approach with music um, is that the user should never really notice the music starting or stopping. Um, they should just feel the emotional effect. So we added a lot of new controls to allow us to blur the boundaries of what would have traditionally been front-end radio or radio positioned in a car versus what's now score. Another example of that is uh, also near the start of the game. The player drives their car, probably with radio on. They drive the car into a mission location. The, the camera cuts to establishing shot, and uh, the player doesn't have control as the car is driven around the back of the, the building. And in the past, we would have had to choose between the radio being on or off. That was the granularity of control. One of the things we added here, um, which is kind of, I suppose, obvious, but it um, really worked well, was just a fade over several seconds. So as the camera cuts to the cinematic shot, the radio fades out over time. So that was the radio that the player was hearing because they were driving the car. Um, but we avoid a jarring transition when they're no longer driving the car. In terms of transitioning from score back to radio, a common issue we had to deal with was at the end of a mission where um, the game transitioned seamlessly back to open world play. So maybe you were escaping from the police or uh, some sort of car chase ends a mission and we're using score to help drive the emotion there. When you successfully evade your, um, whoever is chasing you, we have to get back to radio, um, which is kind of tricky. So we take advantage of misdirection here and generally we'll wait for uh, a conversation either in car or over the mobile phone and while they're while the music is ducked for the conversation, we'll do a quick fade to some radio music, which is appropriate, kind of similar sounding to the score in some vague sense. And then when they finish talking, we bring the volume back up and you're onto radio and hopefully you didn't notice the switch. If we don't have any uh, dialogue that we can hide that behind, we did add support for the radio DJ to come in and start speaking over the score so we can use the same technique there. The score is playing, it's stopped, the radio DJ starts to speak. And while they're talking, and hopefully you're focusing on what they're saying, we'll do a quick fade to uh, a radio track and uh, fade back up. And our approach to setting all this up uh, is quite similar to uh, dynamic mixing, actually. We'll typically go through with level design and block out all of the major events throughout a mission that we might want to have some sort of musical response. And once all these events are being triggered, our music team uh, can hook up the responses to that in the audio tool so they can decide whether the music's changing stem mix or whether it's going to start or stop or maybe it's just going to keep doing whatever it's doing. Our score is eight stereo stems. We add one shots on top of that and moods define for us um, the balance of the different stems. A mood is activated by script and it can contain multiple stem mixes so over time we can keep it interesting by transitioning between variation 